Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. In this video, we're going to be talking about color settings for the draw and fill brushes. Now there are a couple of ways that you can change the color of a brush, but there are only two places that you can do that. Those are either in the color settings or in the brush settings. And we're gonna talk about kind of both a little bit. So let's look at the color settings first. The color settings actually offers us a few ways to choose a color. We can either pick a color that we see in the color wheel and then change the value of that color from super bright to super dark and so we and anywhere in between. So we can do this manually. We could also put in RGB color values if we wanted to to get the color that we're looking for and we can see the color is actually represented in the tile up at the top. So as we change it, if we want to see an accurate representation of what that color is, we can see it up here in the tile. We also have the HSV way of doing it where we can change the hue, the saturation of it, and the value all manually. But that is again a manual way of doing things. And if you have the hex value of a color, you can just put in the hex value and it will choose that color for you. There's also a little eyedropper. However, it only takes color from things in Blender. So we can choose a color that exists currently in the Blender scene or anywhere in the application itself, right here, for example, but it's not going to allow us to go out of Blender and pick a color from the internet. For picking color specifically from the internet, I recommend going to color.adobe.com slash create slash color wheel because it has the ability to pick any colors that you want and it will give you different types of colors uh, that you're whatever you're working with and then it actually gives you the RGB and the hex value. So then we can simply take the hex value here and go back into Blender and drop that hex value here and it will choose the color that we've already seen. So color.adobe.com, this color wheel is super helpful and I find it helpful for my own work and I hope you find it helpful for yours. Now let's go ahead and take a minute and talk about the Blender brush options. All right, so the brush options are pretty similar to what we saw with the color options. We do have the ability to pick a color, we can change the value, and we actually have the ability as well to get that color menu if we just click on one of the color slots that we have. And we have two primary color slots. We also have a palette, so let's talk about that. So we have a primary color slot, and if we paint, and just like left click and paint, we're going to get that color. However, if we hold the control button and we paint, we'll get the secondary color regardless of what that is. Now, if you wanna swap those two colors, you can simply hit the toggle button for that and it will change your primary and secondary color slots, but generally uh, just holding control will do. Now we have a palette as well. This allows you to store your colors just like every other art application out there. You can create as many as you need. Just hit the plus button here, give the palette a name. We'll call it monkey head colors. And then you can add colors to that palette by hitting the plus button. So actually, let's click on one of the color slots and I'll use the eyedropper tool, which actually doesn't appear to work from there. So whatever, we'll grab the eyedropper tool and grab the right color for the face. We'll add that to the palette and then we'll do the same thing. Grab the color for the back of the head and add that to the palette as well. Now let's say we go and add a purple to the palette and I realize, you know what? I don't want that purple on my palette. Well, what I can do with that color selected so if, let's say we have this one selected and we uh, just wanna remove the purple, select the purple and hit the minus button. And doing that will remove that color from your palette. Now, once a color is gone from your palette, you cannot get that color back. So you'd have to manually re-add it. Control Z does not bring back the color slot that you had added to that palette, but you can add as many colors as you need to an individual palette. All right, that's basically everything there is to know about the color options or brush options in Blender. The one thing I will end with though is if you do not save your Blender file after adding colors to a palette, if you were to open that palette back up, which I just saved, um, but if you were to open up that palette one more time 
if you didn't save the colors, it wouldn't actually add it. So I have these, let's add this one real quick just to show you that. I have the green color there. If I reopen this file and I check that, that color will now be off the palette because I did not save Blender's file again. So make sure that if you add a color and you want to keep it, save Blender once you've added that color to your palette. I'm Sir Pinkbeard. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.